Hey, today we are in Volkswagen with Discover Media navigation system. This is MIP2 and I'm going to show you how to um, update your um, radio station logos database. This update is free of charge. You can download it from um, Volkswagen website and you need to unpack it and copy the, uh, copy the content to the SD card. So over here I have an SD card with the update I will insert it in the SD2 port over here and once I do it we should see that there's software update available. Setup all the way down to system information. We can press the update button over here, give it a few seconds and we have available update. So let's press next. And this should take about a minute or two. After that, we uh, most likely will be asked to reboot the system. As I said, this is the MIP2 infotainment unit. And if you have older one, MIP1, you can always download a different package. You just need to select country that you want your logos for, unpack it on the SD card or USB drive put it into your um, car, connect it with the car and uh, from the radio and setup you can um, uh, set uh, logos to a specific station so um, there's it's not a it's not a database update uh, for the MIP1 like in uh, MIP2 over here but you can just uh, use a custom or a preset uh, preset logos for your radio stations Okay, so this update is uh, close to be done, a few more percent, and let's see what we got. Complete, restart now, let's give it a few seconds to reboot. Okay, so let's go to menu, setup, system information. And we can see that there's radio database version over here right now. It wasn't here before. And I believe that when we press menu, press and hold it for a few seconds and go to the software update. We can see that in the history of our updates, we have this station logo database for Europe update over here. I have some points of interest updates over here and this is the last thing that we updated. Okay, if you have MIB1, so there's no update for you, just the uh, um, preset uh, logos that you can download, you will have to go to setup, station logos, select which station you want to update and then browse with the file manager to um, to set your station logo to the correct one and over here in MIP2 since we have the um, database updated we can just press and hold on radio station and logo is updated this happens um, when you are storing your radio station to one of the presets so right now I'm just restoring those Okay, that's it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial. Uh, check the description below this video for links and more information. Also subscribe for future videos and uh, see you soon.